I used to play rugby and basketball before I started skating. Yeah, sort of skateboarding took over once um, you know, I got hooked. You don't really have anyone telling you what to do. It's controlled by yourself and you do what you want when you want. Real freedom, you know, you don't have to be worrying about what's happening around you and stuff, just do what you want. Yeah, I started when I was 14. I got my kind of real pro, like American skateboard when I was about 14, 15. I'm 38 right now, so that's 23, four years or something like that. Been skating for a long time. Started skateboarding because, you know, it was kind of popular at the time when I was a kid. You're allowed to bring your skateboard to school and it was kind of like something to do as opposed to running around on the field. I had a couple of friends that were quite good. It's like kind of cool and you could kind of do it whenever you wanted to. It wasn't like a Saturday morning sport. I've been skating for eight years. My brother started skating and then I got into it and then just high school sort of what my mates were up to and everything and all go skating and just keep doing it after they stopped. I've been skateboarding for five years. I was drawn to skateboarding by my brothers. Just watching them skate made me want to do it. Before I started skateboarding, um, I played rugby and touch. I stopped that because skateboarding is way better. It's the highlights of my career, if you can call it that. I guess just getting sponsored is pretty cool, like it definitely helps out. The main thing that like I got out of it was just travelling and um, meeting new people and going to all the spots that you kind of see in the videos and getting to skate with some of your like idols and things like that, you know, dudes that you kind of looked up to and that was, was pretty cool for me. I get more motivated from it because I'd be achieving things and it would all be on me, no one else would have helped me really. So, okay. Just meeting new people and having like a different group of friends from say people in school or whatever and getting footage and stuff, recording my younger years, getting sponsored, sort of having fun mostly. Yeah. Filming's very stressful and I don't know, it's just skateboarding, it's just a stressful sport. Like it gets frustrating just repeating things over and over again, having to learn to deal with that. Some challenges I've overcome is just trying to land tricks more consistently and just learn new ones. Yeah, I don't really see myself ever stopping skateboarding, so unless I get physically, you know, hurt and, you know, can't do it. But even then, I'd probably try and do it. Dudes are doing it now that are, you know, 50, even 60 and stuff, so maybe I'll be able to do it to the end. With Lee Ralph, you know, he's still, like, killing it. He must be, like, getting close to 50 now. You know, there's always mellow stuff you can skate, like, little ramps and bowls and tranny and stuff like that so yeah I can't see myself ever stopping. I don't reckon I'll ever stop skating, not until I have to. I skateboard because I don't know why, it's because one day I started doing it and I don't know, now it's kind of all I know what to do with my full time. Sort of, I don't know, it's just what I want to do. It just makes me me I guess. Why I skateboard? Yeah, I don't really know why, but um, it's just kind of part of my life now. I can't really stop, you know. It's, yeah, it's just kind of what I do and kind of what I know and yeah. just heaps of fun.